Hello and welcome to the Medical Journal Club, your daily dose of health and medical news. I am Dr. B.P. Rahul and here is what we have for you all from the world of medicine. Maternal tenofovir along with vaccination may prevent vertical transmission of hepatitis B. In babies, a combination of hepatitis B vaccination and immunoglobin is the cornerstone of vertical transmission prevention for women who are positive for both hepatitis B surface and envelope antigens, says an article published in American Journal of Obstetrics and Gynecology. This study was carried out by Ha T. Nguyen and colleagues to examine the efficacy and safety of pharmaceutical therapies to prevent vertical transmission of hepatitis B virus. Cochrane, Medline, and Scopus database were searched for this study up to October 28, 2020. The randomized control studies that reported vertical hepatitis B viral transmission with pharmaceutical intervention were properly searched and included in the analysis. Cochrane risk of bias tool version 2 was used to assess the risk of bias. The effectiveness of the treatment was calculated using a stratified network meta-analysis which was based on maternal hepatitis B envelope antigen status. The result of this study stated as follows. There were 19 studies that involved moms and tested positive for hepatitis B surface and envelope antigens. The combination of hepatitis B vaccination and immunoglobin in babies lowered transmission risk much more than the vaccine alone with a risk ratio of 0.5. With a pooled risk ratio of 0.10, only the inclusion of maternal tenofovir, disoproxyl fumarate, but not talbivudine, lamivudine, or maternal hepatitis B immunoglobin further lowered the transmission risk in the newborn compared to a combination of hepatitis B vaccination and hepatitis B immunoglobin. Twelve studies in mothers with hepatitis B surface antigen positivity but mixed unknown or negative hepatitis B envelope antigen status provided limited evidence that maternal hepatitis B immunoglobin combined with hepatitis B vaccine and immunoglobin in infants was likely best treatment. But this failed to reach statistical significance significance when compared to combination of hepatitis B vaccine and immunoglobins in infants. Similarly, adding newborn hepatitis B immunoglobin to immunization gives potential extra benefit but fails to attain statistical significance. In conclusion, the inclusion of maternal tenofovir to this newborn combination regimen was thought to be most probable successful therapy. No further agents offered extra benefit beyond this hepatitis B vaccination alone for newborns of women with hepatitis B surface antigen positivity and mixed unknown or negative hepatitis B envelope antigen status. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.